Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about a story from grade 12 compulsory English new course named A Respectable Women, written by Kate Chopin. Here the title A Respectable Women itself stands for a woman who is a reputable, honest, trustworthy, decent, reasonable, fair, upright, appreciable, estimable, and good in character. So before dealing with the chapter a respectable women by Kate Chopin, we have to discuss some of the question under this chapter. So the questions are A. In how do you feel if someone lives in your house as a guest for a long time? If someone comes to your house and lives in your house, as a guest for a long time, what is your feeling? So the answer is, I feel annoyed if someone lives in my house as a guest for a long time without any specific reason. But if he or she stays for constructive or good purposes, I take granted. I accept that question b have you ever changed your opinion about a person after meeting him or her have you ever met such a person is about whom you have prejudices but after meeting him you found so many changes in his or her character yes of course yes I had a very bad impressions regarding a person living in my community. His name was Raghu. Everyone in the community say that he is a rigid person, but as I meet him, I found him very helpful and rightful in thoughts. So these are the questions mentioned in our textbooks before reading. So now then we move towards the chapter. Characters in the story are respectable women. So all together there are three main characters which we find found in this story. First one is Mrs. Baroda. Second, her hus uh, husband Gaston Baroda, and third one is Governor. Yes, these are these three characters are is significant in the story. So as we go towards this is uh, characterization, we come to know about them in following ways. The first one, Mrs. Baroda. She is the wife of Gaston Baroda. As we talk about her character, she is the wife of Gaston Baroda. The flat and statics in character, she is represented as a wealthy mistress, a respectable woman, high class woman, is belonging to upper class family. Second one is Gaston Baroda. He is the husband of Mrs. Baroda and he is a close companion of Mr. Governor and he has a big sugar plantation. He is also known as a good sugar planter. Third character we find in the story is Governor who is a bi-professional a journalist and a close companion or friend of Mrs. Baroda's husband, Gaston Baroda. His name in French means a ruder, a tailor, with the implication that he is someone 
who knows the directions, who understand where things are headed. Then we talk about the setting of the story of uh, respectable women. We know very well that the term setting refers to time and place. This story of uh, respectable women has been set in Gaston Baroder's sugar plantation in Louisiana, close to New Orleans apparently in the 1880s or early 1890s. We know that such estates and plantation activities were very common in the US in second half of the 19th century. And this story is a respectable women by Kate Chopin is a realistic story. It was published in 1894 which implies the historical era more or less contemporary to the time of publishing. Thus, this story is closely connected to the contemporary situation or lifestyle of the people. Next, then language. The language used in this story a respectable women by Kate Chopin is fairly simple to grasp, to understand. The choice of the words reflect the historical setting by the terms connected to architecture and occupation. For instance, portico, sugar planter, these are the terms related to its occupations and architectures which are used in this story. Some French term reflect its French influence. In the area of New Orleans, Ma Belle, Siri Ami, Gross Bakes, these are the French terms used in this story which shows French influence. Most of the story is written in narrative mode from one character's perspective and inner thoughts through their indirect speeches. Dialogue is mostly common found in the story when the protagonist is Mrs. Baroda talks to her husband about several matters. Then we talk about the title, A Respectable Women Itself. The title of the story a respectable women is appropriate, is apt, it is suitable in the sense the plot of the story concerns with a woman who is respectful in character. Therefore, we can say that the title of the story is apt or suitable. Still, the attribute respectable makes us think about a reputation and the public image of the protagonist Mrs. Baroda. But as we go through the story, we are surprised by Mrs. Baroda's own words as she is closely attracted towards Governor. She says she wanted to draw close to him and whisper against his cheek. She didn't care what as she might have done if she hadn't been a respectable woman. If she hadn't been a respectable woman, she may cross the barriers. We find that she is attracted to her husband's friend instead of being a respectable woman, which she claimed to be. Thus, the title represents the women's conflict as well between her desire and reputations in which later prevails. That means the reputation exists in the story. Although she is drawn to governor, but Mrs. Baroda respects the norms and social conducts. The ending of the short story, however, offers a clue that Mrs. Baroda finally decides to give into temptation. So the title could be also ironical. If we 
may analyze it from this point of view too. Anyway, the title is ironical, though it's appropriate as well. After title, we move towards summary. Summary of the story or the main points of the story is what, how the story moves on, how the plot of the story is mentioned in it. So, is in the story, a uh, respectable women. Kate Chopin delves, means go inside, enters, Parvesh Garshin, into the psychology of Mrs. Baroda. A wealthy woman belonging to high class with a loving husband, Gaston, who faces temptation in the person named Governor, a polite, unassuming visitor to Baroda Sugar Plantation in Louisiana. Mrs. Baroda doesn't instantly recognize what she really wants and eventually struggles with the self-imposed limitations of her identity as a respectable woman. The story hings, maniko that means clings, jhundinsa, yes, attached upon defining what a respectable woman is and should be. A respectable woman should carry what sort of characters it also talks about that. It also talks about the inner psychology of the main character, female protagonist, Mrs. Baroda as well. How she go through, goes through several conflict throughout the story. So as the story starts, we learn that Mrs. Baroda seems to be a traditional woman who acts in accordance with that behavior. The society expect her to perform. She is a respectable woman in trying to confront her feelings. When she learned that her husband Gaston Baroda has invited her co old college friend who is now a journalist by a profession to stay with him for at least two weeks. She comes to know that her husband has invited his close friend to stay with them at least for two weeks. She was somewhat disappointed by this message since she had been busy all winters and she had planned a period of rest and conversation with her husband Gaston Baroda. Though she had heard a lot of about him, she was not ready to want to see him. Though she had a negative perception about governance, she didn't let her husband learn of this instead of handling it respectively. When she met Governor, she felt in love with him, though she didn't see all the positive traits or characters described by Gaston. He made no particular attempt to impress her, otherwise he enjoyed sitting on the portico, Baneko Terrace, Baranda, Ma Bossi Rekonsa, Usko Itsana Baipani, though he was not interested, he was listening to the yes, words of Gaston, who was describing about sugar planting, yes, fish and hunt, fishing and hunting. Although Governor puzzled Mrs. Baroda, he was lovable and offensive. Yes. She left him alone with her husband at first, but soon began to accompany him on walks as she attempted to overcome her resistance, reticence, shyness. Her husband told her that he would stay for another week and asked why she didn't wish him to stay. She responded that she would prefer, prefer him to be more demanding as Gaston. It reveals that yes, what sort of characters she wants to see in yes, Governor. Gaston told Mrs. Baroda that Governor didn't expect a commotion over her, over his presence and that he simply wished for a break from his busy life. 
although she declared that she is expected she expected him to be more interesting later that night she sat by herself on a bench feeling confused yes, she was sitting on a bench feeling confused being is yes, is yes, uh, confused and wanting to leave the plantation for a while having told her husband that she might go to the city in the morning and stay with her aunt while she sat governor saw her and sat next to her he also came near by her as she was sitting alone and he also sat near by her not knowing her displeasure at his presence he was not aware that whether she is not liking his presence but he sat near by her governor handed her a scrap scarf is yes, on gaston's behalf as per to the desire of the gaston he handles a scarf and murmur about the night his silence disappears as he becomes became talkative for the first time as he talked to her for the first time he spoke of, of her he spoke to her of old days and of his desire for a peaceful existence she didn't listen to his word as much as his voice and she thought of drawing him closer although she resisted uh, because she was a respectable uh, woman eventually she left and governor remained behind finishing his address to the knight then in this account of the story mrs baroda then underwent a mental conflict as well as she was uh, closely attra attracted towards governor she wanted to tell gaston of her strange folly she wanted to reveal her mental conflict to her husband but she realized sensibly and she must that she must handle this feeling by herself the climax of the story occurs as her decision to leave governor and take the train to the city while she remained reminded herself that she was a respectable woman she as she falls in the mental conflict she first she wishes to convey her feeling to her husband but later she considering herself as a respectable woman she tries to is solve her problem herself the next morning she left for the city and didn't return until governor departed she didn't choose to see governor again and until some months later she determined she had defeated her bitter emotions and her assurance to gaston baroda indicates that she would feel free to treat governor with more courtesy since she was no longer attracted to him she later changed her mind delighting her husband who told her that governor didn't deserve her dislikes as at the end of the story her husband says to her that he didn't deserve such types of disliking of her she kissed her husband and told him that she had overcome everything she had is became far away from her mental conflict and she would now treat him more nicely now she will behave uh, uh, him more properly at the end of the story she claimed to have overcome everything if it is not clear whether she didn't know really the meaning of overcoming everything whether she would be able to control her growing passions for governor however nobody knows actually if they have had an affair at mrs baroda estate time i shall be very nice to him or if her feelings are already gone and simply transformed into a new relationship so this is the visual summary very as creative summary i have presented here here we find this in the first figure we find mrs baroda and her husband they were living happily as in their farm house and they had a big plantation sugar plantation as well but meanwhile her husband inform is mrs baroda that his friend is college friend who is a journalist by profession is visiting his farm house for weeks at first she didn't like that but after the arrival of is his friend 
she has a cross over him she was attracted towards him and she suffers from mental conflict then and finally she is leaves the place to her aunt's house taking a train so this whole story is presented through this visual summary it helps to capsize or grips the idea of the story is yes? then we'll move towards the theme of the story as we see the theme of the story we come to know that is yes? kate chopin's respectable women triggers it moves around identity and deserves identity and desires versus restraints or self control one uh, on the one hand it talks about identity and desire of the women is yes, are of mrs uh, barodas and on the other hand it talks about her self control so the theme is themes triggers her moves around it the theme of identity is enhanced through motives such as perceptions and appearances because the story tends to follow the way the protagonist perceives herself and governor the story portrays mrs baroda as a female protagonist who discovers the strength of her will as the plot moves on it intermingles it mixes conflict within herself but she comes to realize that she considers her individual identity as a woman to be more important than her social identity as a respectable woman the related issue of female sexuality and that of female independence is also depicted in the story so at the end of the story there is no certainty we don't know if she will choose her feelings to overcome them by the way kate chopin makes us questions being respectable means living accordingly social norms are living our lives without regret so this is the theme of this story so i think regarding the theme you are as clear so now we will see the figure how mrs baroda suffers from mental trauma or conflict with in herself that's very clearly portrayed in this figure then we talks about glossary glossary some of the glossary terms which uh, are mentioned in our text so here is tete a tete a friends term private conversation between two people usually in a intimate setting cynical it's an adjective concerned with concerned only with one's own interest portico pours leading to the entrance of a building to what we call even terrace or baranda in nepali Corinthian having the characteristics of Corinth in ancient Greeks, Balvetti having a smooth, soft appearance, feel, or taste, Ficut that means irritated, Bachelor an alluvial land by a riverside, especially in low land area, Mabel uh, French word equivalent to my beautiful in English, Unconciliated means uncompromised, not agreeing. Cravat, a short white strips of fabric worn by men around the neck inside an open-necked sort, whiff, a brief and faint smell, temptation, the desire of something wrong or unwise, strenuous, requiring or using great effort or exertion. So then we move towards the questions. Understanding the text, answer the following questions. which are presented in our textbooks question number a why was mrs baroda unhappy with the information about governor's visit to their farm mrs Bar baroda kina dukhi hunchin jab unle notice paunchin ki governor unko farm ma aireko cha in fact the answer is mrs baroda was unhappy with the information about governor's visit to their farm since she had planned a period of rest and conversation with her husband she wanted to pass her time with her husband freely uh, gaston baroda is yes, she wanted to pass her time with her husband gaston baroda from their busy life throughout all winter as they were busy throughout all winter so she wanted to is yes, pass her time with her husband freely and therefore she is yes, was unhappy by listening this Question number B: How was Governor different from Mrs. Baroda's 
एक्सपेक्टेशन गवर्नेंस मिसेज बैरोडा ने जस्तों सोची त्यो भाग कसरी फरक थियो मिसेज बैरोडा एक्सपेक्टेड हिम एज अ टल स्लिम साइनिकल मैन एंड डिडंट लाइक द मेन्टल इमेज अफ हिम इनफेक्ट सी एज थट अफ हिम लाइक दिस बट वेन सी मिट हिम सी फाइंड हिम स्लिम बट नाइदर अफ टल न साइनिकल एंड एस गवर्नेल रैदर क्वाइट एंड कॉर्टिस् विच मिट हर एक्चुअली इगर टू लाइक हिम क्वेश्चन नंबर सी हाउ डज मिसेज बैरोडा कंपेयर गवर्नेल्स विथ हर हस्बेन्ड मिसेज बैरोडा एसोसिएट गवर्नेल्स विथ अ जर्नलिस्ट बाय प्रोफेशन एंड हर हस्बेन्ड एज द ऑनर अफ सुगर प्लांटेशन सी नोज दैट हि एंड हर हस्बेन्ड हेज बीन फ्रेंड्स इन कलेज सी फाइंड्स इन स्लिम क्वाइट एंड कर्टिस् इन रेस्पोन्स एंड लवेबल ऑन द अदर हेन्ड सी फाइंड्स हर हस्बेन्ड very helpful very faithful to her as well as his friend question number d why and how did mrs baroda try to change the governor's solely tory habits how kina athwa ra kasari mrs baroda le governor's ko solely tory habits change garna chahanchin in fact the answer is Mrs. Baroda tried to change Governor's solitary habits because she didn't expect a commotion commotions over his presence, and he was no more interesting. In fact, she expected him to be more interesting, and because of that, she tried to change it yes? by assuring him to be more talkative. to be adaptable to the situation to making him as more interesting she attempted to change her solitary change his solitary habits question e how does gaston disagree with his wife on governor's character kasari gaston ke huncha aapno wife's को भ्यूज हुन्छ त्यससँग फरक हुन्छ गास्टन डिसएग्रीज विथ हिज वाइफ अन गवर्नेंस क्यारेक्टर एज लेस इन्ट्रेस्टिङ एन्ड एज साइ फिगर रादर ही प्रूव्स हिम टु बी आउटस्टैंडिङ सोसिएबल इन्ट्रेस्टिङ एन्ड टॉकेटिभ क्यारेक्टर क्वेशन एफ व्हाई इज गास्टन सरप्राइज विथ द विथ हिज वाइफ्स एक्सप्रेशन टुवर्ड्स द एंड अफ द स्टोरी एज हिज वाइफ एक्सप्रेस हर फिलिंग्स Why is Gaston surprised? Kina wu ek dam atsam maunsa. Gaston is surprised with his wife's expression towards the end of the story because before the year ended, she proposes wholly from herself to have governors visit them again, which he hasn't ever expected from her side. Therefore, he was surprised. After that, we move towards a reference to the context. यहाँ केही क्वेशनहरु दिएका छन् व्हिच आर फ्रम रेफरेंस टु द कन्टेक्स्ट द क्वेशन ए व्हाट इज द कॉज अफ कन्फ्लिक्ट इन मिसेज बैरोडास माइंड मिसेज बैरोडास को माइंड मा कन्फ्लिक्ट को कारण के थियो व्हाट रोल्स डस मिसेज बैरोडा बीइंग अ रिस्पेक्टेबल वुमेन प्ले इन द स्टोरी पहिला कन्फ्लिक्ट को रीजन के थियो कारण के थियो देन व्हाट रोल सी प्लेज एज बीइंग अ रिस्पेक्टेबल वुमेन इन द स्टोरी so the answer is a respectable women by kate sopin is structured around the character of mrs baroda and her inner conflict as she finds herself attracted to her husband's friend governor is in the opening of the story we learn that mrs baroda seems to be a traditional woman who acts in accordance with that behavior the society expected her to perform when she learned that her husband gaston baroda has in, had invited her his old college friends to stay with him stay with them as for at least two weeks she was somewhat somewhat disappointed by that since they had been busy all winter she had planned a period of rest and conversation with her husband gaston baroda though she had heard a lot about him she is not ready to want to see him but when she met governor she felt in love with him though she didn't see all the positive traits described by her husband she dreamed of only dream pani garin yes putting her hands in the darkness and touch governor's with the sensitive tips of her fingers upon the face or lips 
She wanted to draw close to him and whisper against his cheeks. She didn't care of what she might have done if she hadn't been a respectable, respectable woman. If she wasn't a respectable woman, she might have go, might have gone very close to him. Here is Mrs. Baroda as a protagonist with a determining and challenging psychological character is portrayed as a respectable woman in the story, which can be proved through her actions and attitude that she displays by making appropriate and adaptable decisions at the end of the story. As a respectable woman, she controls her feelings towards the governor and proves herself a determined and respectable woman by expecting his visit to their plantation before the year ended. Once again, she hope to is hope to visit of governor at their plantations. So in this way, is she proves herself as a respectable woman in the story. Sketch the character of governor and contrast it with Katzen. It means we have to first state the character of governor is what uh, traits he carries, and then we have to compare him to Mrs. Baroda's husband Katzen. So governor, uh, by profession a journalist, is. A very close companion are college friends of Mrs. Baroda's husband named Baroda Gaston. And his name in French means ruder, a trailer, with the implication that he is someone who knows the directions, who understands where the things are headed. He is a significant character because he symbolizes temptations for Mrs. Baroda. He is presented as, in no sense, a society man, a man about town. A smoker who takes smoking also is his physical portrait and some of his inner traits are rendered in contrast with what Mrs. Baroda imagines before meeting him as she has heard from her husband. She thought is she pictured him tall, slim, cynical, eyeglasses and his hands with pockets and she didn't like him. She had made, at was she has made the picture of governor in her is mind but governess was slim enough and he wasn't very tall not very cynical neither did he wear eyeglasses nor carry his hands in his pockets so her opinions varies her expectation varies in fact in the story nothing is said about the man's marital status Governor's co marital status ko but since he is inviting he is visiting to Baroda's alone. We can assume that he seems to be simple. His character is presented in the story by the attitude, action and perspective of Gaston and his wife. For Mrs. Baroda, he is a likable man. Yet she cannot see the same quality in him as her husband protests about him. He is such a person who doesn't care to fish, displays no eagerness to go out when Gaston proposes doing so. On the other hand, Gaston Baroda, now we talk about Gaston Baroda, the husband of Mrs. Baroda. Frank, wordy, hospitality, behavior is widely traced in the story. His kind, lovable husband and helpful figure. He is an experienced sugar planter, one of the prominent characters of the story. Thus, he is the close companion and loving husband of Mrs. Baroda. In this way, we can characterize the character governor in the story and contrast his character with contrast his character with his Gaston. So question number C. Why does Mrs. Baroda not disclose her feeling towards governor to her husband? Mrs. Baroda le apno husband lay governor's ko feeling only disclose kina So yes, when Mrs. Baroda meets the governor, Zaba only governor like she falls in love with him. Though she doesn't see all the positive traits described by Gaston in him, she dreams of putting her hands in the darkness, touch governors with sensitive tips of her finger upon the face or lips. It is a very important significant line mentioned in our 
टेक्स्ट बुक्स इज व्हाट सर्ट ऑफ फीलिंग्स ही हैज रिगार्डिंग गवर्नर एस सो सी वांट्स टू ड्रॉ क्लोज टू हिम विस्पर अगेंस्ट हिज चीक्स एंड सी डजंट केयर व्हाट सी माइट हैव डन इफ सी हैडंट बीन अ रिस्पेक्टेबल women in the account of the story mrs baroda then undergoes a mental conflict within herself she wants to tell her husband regarding her fully strange mental conflict but she realizes sensibly that she must handle this feeling by herself next morning she decide to leave governor and take train to city and doesn't return until governor departs while she reminds herself that she is a respectable woman Gaston wants the governor to return the next summer but she refuses and she later changes her mind delighting her husband who tells her that governor doesn't deserve her dislike so she kisses her husband and tells him that she has overcome everything and she will now allow to is yes, allow the arrival of governors to their farm and she then is yes, will treat him more nicely so in this way is uh, mrs baroda is uh, doesn't disclose her feeling to her husband uh, regarding as governor then question number d the last three sentences of the story brings a kind of twist after reading these three sentences how do you analyze mrs baroda's attitude towards the governor the last three sentences presented in our story is a turning point is yes. obviously thus we can say that is regarding the answer obviously the last three sentences of the story a respectable woman brings a kind of twist we come to know that mrs baroda has changed her all attitudes towards governor and she will behave him politely positively after reading given sentences so the through interpretive way uh, here the sentences are given is yes, gaston baroda said that he was glad to know from her beloved wife that she had finally overcome her dislike for governor which he really deserved it Mrs Baroda told him laughingly after pressing along and having a very tender kiss upon his lips upon her husband's lips she had overcome every stress of her life every mental conflict of her life and she also promised to be very nice to him at the end of the story mrs baroda claims to have overcome everything it is not clear whether she doesn't know really the meaning of overcoming whether she would be able to control her growing passion for governor or not however nobody knows actually they have had an affair or not as mrs beroda states this time i shall be very nice to him as if her feelings are already gone simply transformed into a new friendship this line states her husband was right regarding governor's character and mrs beroda was strong enough to control over her feelings towards the governor and would behave with positively and sincerely so after that is yes, we will see the reference beyond the text two questions are given under this is yes, the entry of an outsider into a family has been a recurring subject in both literature and film कुनै पनि चाहे लिटरेचर होस् चाहे फिल्म होस् यदि आउटसाइडर कुनै पनि फ्यामिलीमा इन्टर हुन्छ भने देयर अराइजेस द कन्फ्लिक्ट इज नेरेटिभ narrate a story real or imaginative where an outsider's arrival destroys the intimate relationship between the husband and the wife and causes break up in marital relationship without direct fault of anyone anton chekhov's story about love is a story on this topic this subject so here we will take the instances from the anton chekhov's story about love and mention that how the arrival of alohim is causes conflict in the life of Mr Loganovich and Anna Loganovich so the story goes in a such a way is story goes in a such a way Anton Chekhov's story about love is an interesting story where the arrival of the main character and narrator this Alohin in Mrs Mr Loganovich's family destroys the intimate relationship between the husband and the wife and it causes terrible troubles and mental stress to is Anna Loganovich Mrs Lugan Mr Loganovich and Anna are the husband and wife living together in the city though there is wide gap 
the gap of age difference between the husband and wife one is young is nearly about 22 years wife is 22 and husband is up nearly over 40 so she is young beautiful kind intelligent fascinating her gaze her beautiful and delicate hand her way of walking her voice her hairstyles all are impressive to anybody as the story opens she is a six month baby and she later has another baby as well she has been living with her husband in peace and harmony but the arrival of another man in her life mutilates that means damages destroys her life entirely ultimate she has a neurotic problem unlai euta mansik samasya huncha jaba alohin unko life ma enter garcha mansik samasya huncha and because of that she has to leave alohin alohin lai unle ke garnu parcha chhodnu parcha the same thing happens tei kura ke cha ta same thing happens in this story a respectable women with the arrival of governor in baroda's family the former in the former story anna leaves the city for crimea to feel relaxed and depressed in advice of the doctors here in this story mrs baroda leaves the plantation for her aunt's octavis so that she can get relaxed and depressed from her mental conflict so yes in this way we can come to conclusion that uh, is with the arrival of a new strangers or new outsiders is causes mental conflict in the family sometimes is um, breakdown of marital relationship as well the last question that we found in our text is this chapter is mrs baroda makes an expectation about governors even before meeting him suppose you are a mature girl and boys ke bujhnus tapai euta mature girl athwa boy hununcha and your family members ra timro parivar ka sadasya haru le ke chahirahe ka chan are giving you pressure for getting married timi mature bhai saknu bhayeko cha ra tapai ko parivar ka sadasya le tapai lai bihe garne pressure dirahe ka chan write in about 200 words describing what qualities you would like to get in your future husband and wife timle aapno bhavishya ko shriman athwa shrimati ma kasto khalka gun haru kasto khalko characters haru dekhna chahanu huncha so the answer is we know very well that marriage is a lifetime decision it's not temporary or very short is a decision that's why one should never rush to this stage until he or she is fully sure about his life partner what sort of life partner he or she is going to marry otherwise it may be the folly of the lifetime fault of the lifetime it's a serious matter of the life one should put a lot of thoughts into intelligence one should think deeply before making any decisions to marry someone it is not as same as judging a book by its cover as there are many pages paragraphs sentences even words figures and inside the books i hope is so that as we have to write the qualities of is our future husband or wife so i hope to see the following qualities in my future husband same way you can write about the wife as well the first one he has good manners to show his affections and care he should be good in manners and he should love very much and take care of his wife he admits his shortcomings if he make mistakes edi ule galti garcha bhane he should accept and he should accept my pleas his wife's ko pani galti haru he should be a good listener he enjoys my companies and understand and respect my decisions usle ke garnu parcha his wife's is decisions understand and respect garnu parcha and he knows my likes and dislikes he should is know his wife's likes and dislikes what his wife is liking or disliking he should remember his wife's or uh, husband's birthday remembers to give me little gift and surprises on different occasions he is sweet and charming he has a good sense of humor he mostly most of the time he should is makes me laugh he never places restrictions on me or relationship kunai restriction limitation is he shouldn't keep rakhnu bhayena he respect my family and friends truly loves me dere maya garna paryo he is good in bed or be good with kids he should be is good in bed means respectable in bed is or he should be able to satisfy his wife or husband is yes? he can balance his works and family and face the challenges when the difficulties arrive he should is yes? think of 
the challenges and he should think of the events overcoming those challenges and he is independent both financially and emotionally thus i wish to sc such types of qualities are characteristics in my future husband so this is about this is story a respectable women